Now these productions, they are always aimed um, towards a particular demographic. This collective we call the Vanguard, the Awakening Ones. The visionaries, uh, the do-gooders, <clears throat> you are awakening at this time. Uh, what does that mean? It means, uh, depending on your orientation, um, depending on your spiritual perspective, depending on your religion. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> depending on your mm, absence of anything remotely spiritual, you say, mm, you have a particular orientation, and that is the context in which you find yourself awakening. And thus, uh, if you are keen on the uh, apocalypse um, story, um, you may find that you are in it. You are witnessing uh, the great revelations that accompany the apocalypse uh, in real time. You may be experiencing revelation, truth. Mm. It's coming into your awareness, <clears throat> for you have read the texts. Uh, is that? You have heard the sermons, and now you're in it. If you are a New Age practitioner, uh, alternative spiritualities of the various types, you may find yourself in a, uh, a type of ascension uh, story in which you are rising up through the dimensional realms. Um, you are approaching your fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensions because you've read the text. <clears throat> you've heard um, the speeches. <clears throat> you believe the words. <clears throat> you understand the subtext. It speaks to you. It triggers little awakenings in your consciousness. <clears throat> You may be experiencing the rapture in which you believe you will be taken up in a literal sense, perhaps, or perhaps just a, a metaphorical sense, and become one uh, with God in the kingdom 
the kingdom of heaven because you read the holy books you've heard the sermons you believed the words and you have understood the subtext as you read a passage in the Bible for example it speaks to you and triggers little awakenings in consciousness and so you're expecting it to be taken up metaphorically or literally Let's say that you're um, that you ascribe to a <clears throat> native people's storyline, uh, and that you are witnessing within your personal reality um, a great purification. Um, Because you've uh, read the text, you've listened to the spiritual leaders talk, you believe them, mm. Mm. you're having these momentary awakenings occur in consciousness in which you say, this is the time, the great purification is on us. Um, perhaps you're trying to live a good life. <laughs> mm. So you are awakening at this time. Uh, might I say, even though you might not have a spiritual practice, uh, you may be awakening because you're inquisitive. You're curious about what's going on in this world. Uh, you're wondering why your friends at work are having these visionary experiences. Mm. You see? Uh, some of the visionaries talk about their experiences. Uh, visionary leaders model uh, virtuous behavior for those around them. Mm. So even though you don't have a spiritual practice, even though you do not pray, um, you, mm, this part of the collective, uh, you may even be agnostic, um, you are coming up, you are ascending, you are receiving a revelation of types, you are engaging uh, ecstasy rapture. Um, you are considering the great purification and perhaps beginning at this juncture in your life to purify yourself, to be a better person, to be virtuous, you say. Um, as you own it, wherever you find yourself, um, you begin to notice, I think, that your identity is changing. Uh, you have an old identity that's being shed uh, in the same way that a snake sheds its skin. <clears throat> it's no longer useful this identity, this belief system, mm, it's outlived its usefulness. Cliché after cliché. Uh, and something new um, pulls you into the future. Something new about you, uh, dear viewer, pulls you into a future uh, probable self, uh, a new identity that can believe uh, in these uh, momentous 
experiences that the visionaries are documenting. Mm, the new identity includes a connection to your intuition, to non-physical beings, mm, to the great biocomputer, uh, however you wish to speak of this construct. Uh, as you pull the pieces together on this new identity of yours, mm, you'll find that you're being guided the new identity means that you are having conversations with your higher self, with these non-physical beings, uh, and benefiting from uh, these relationships. Now, ironically, I think, uh, your ascension uh, this revelation, this moment of ecstasy you're experiencing takes you back to your source. Um, and many of you uh, are shocked to find that your source uh, has star origins. We enjoyed this description, star origins. It's harmless, is it not? Uh, I do not enjoy the term extraterrestrial. Um, extra dimensional, if you prefer. Mm, so you are owning mm, this connection, this connection to uh, the various star systems that uh, <clears throat> spawned you, this particle of soul that you are used using to drive this uh, personality of yours in a human body. And you're owning to it. It's not fantastic anymore. Admittedly, this is a far stretch for some of you. Mm, might I suggest you uh, relax and let it <laughs> unfold. It's a homecoming. It is a return. As you awaken, you remember your origins. Uh, then it gets very interesting, as I say. Uh, what I see for uh, some of you is that you're going to document these changes. You're going to write books. You're going to create uh, media of various types to document your experiences. And then you're going to share uh, with others um, and show them that it's possible. Visionary leaders model uh, the virtuous life for others. So if you want to be included, <clears throat> begin that process of documenting. Uh, you give it your own personal stamp. You imbue it with your personal energy, this model of yours. What happened to me as I awoke? Uh, people will be interested in that. People from your soul family, uh, people looking for you in this lifetime. Where is that person that I knew in this other life? They're looking for you. And when you create your system, they will find you. Mm, this is a homecoming, you say. I think I will leave it at that and ask that you uh, visit us again several weeks from now. Uh, we will have another episode of this 
Seth teaching. Mm. Waking moments. Mm-hmm.